At Safe Work Australia, we work with government, industry and business to try and help and improve the, the health and safety of all workers. Uh, and an important part of this is about providing quality data and evidence so that people can understand not only the importance but also the impact of uh, health and safety at work. Uh, each year we report on work-related fatalities in Australia and that includes information around the nature and circumstances of the fatalities. And as part of this we try and highlight what the most uh, common causes are of those fatalities but also the industries and occupations where uh, they most commonly occur. Uh, these statistics not only provide data on all workers that are killed in a work-related incident, whether that be an employee or a self-employed worker or volunteer, but also includes information on bystanders who are killed as a result of someone else's work activity. I think data can be a really powerful tool. The aim really of publishing these statistics is so that leaders, employers, workers, regulators and others can better understand where the greatest risks are and to be able to then use that and share that, those learnings to further their commitment to improve uh, safety at the workplace. Uh, well, the positive news is that worker, the rate of worker fatalities in Australia has almost halved since 2007. In 2016, the fatality rate in Australia was at its lowest level um, in the 14 years of data that we have available. And I think that provides an indication that the work health and safety laws, policies and strategies here in Australia are having a positive impact. But while the, the improvement over the last 10 years is certainly pleasing, the latest statistics do show that there were still 182 workers who were killed in work-related incidents in Australia in 2016. Uh, in 2016, 50% of work fatalities occurred in just two industries, um, the transport, postal and warehousing industry and the agriculture, forestry and fishing industry. And I think by understanding where the fatalities most commonly occur and also what the main causes of fatal injuries are, it enables us to better focus our efforts to try and ensure that these tragic incidents are avoided in the future. What the data shows is that certainly vehicles are a big factor in worker fatalities. Um, in 2016, uh, more than half of worker fatalities involved a vehicle in some way. In 2016, the main cause of work fatalities was vehicle collisions, uh, with more than half of those involving a truck. Um, workers falling from a height was the next most common cause, and, and almost half of those, or just under half of those, involved workers falling from a ladder or a roof. And then that was followed by workers being hit by a moving object, um, such as a vehicle or machinery. Compiling, sharing and analysing the statistics are an important um, way in which we try and raise awareness and to provide a national picture of work health and safety outcomes in Australia. I encourage people to share this video and to use the data in it uh, in order to raise awareness but also to help improve the health and safety uh, of workers in their workplaces.